Hi guys, today for you a beast of a military grade uh, Soviet made power supply out from my garage. So this is a 10 kilos thing guys. A big, uh, very heavy aluminium box which is pretty much a big uh, heat sink. And it is a military grade power supply. So model number is 9 Cyrillic B, so it means uh, V378. So according to this uh, model number, it must be for some kind of weapon system. We have only uh, two uh, plugs on it and a few covers on the sides and a big cover on the top. So first we will have, we will have a close look at this front side. So here is the front side zoomed in for you. First thing to notice, this uh, model uh, number plate, it seems it is sealed in place with uh, epoxy compound all around. Interesting. So here we have uh, two uh, connectors with uh, dust covers, aluminium. And uh, here is the first one, as you can see, the insulating material here at the bottom is uh, actually glass and we can guess at the other side the uh, it shrinks around the wires white it shrinks it is the same thing on this side also it is a glass insulator quite uh, uncommon not uh, uncommon with uh, soviet stuff I have other device with the same thing, but uh, you should not see it in uh, on Western stuff. It is uh, actually glass. It is interesting. So here you can see we have two bigger bigger contacts for medium size, two two medium size for smaller ones, and this side is only a very small uh, contacts. We have some rubber uh, cup here and here also to, uh, for uh, moisture proofing. It seems it is for uh, mounting into a battle tank or uh, army truck, something like this. This uh, kind of uh, screw holes with uh, rubber sub absorbers are really common in tanks. Okay, here we have a red thing which is sealed. So maybe it is a screw for uh, making vacuum or something like this in the unit. And it was sealed with uh, epoxy also. It is very, very hard. You, there is no way you dig in it. So here we have a little cover. I did already remove the, most of the screws. What do we have behind this little cover? We have three transistors. Model number is P217V. It is interesting to note that this one is uh, dead code 1983. These two ones are dead code 1987. And also it is not the same uh, Manufacturer logo, but the quality stamp here or something is the same. Number five. On this is just uh, aluminium die cast cover with uh, Amerton paint on it. So this was the first one. Now we will have a look. Add the covers on the side. <coughs> okay guys, I did uh, break the uh, Virgin factory seal for you. It seems, uh, as always, it is the black goop in this. Not, It is not hard, so it must be something like uh, tar or something like this. It is a really, really nasty thing, in fact. Not sure what it is, but it is uh, pretty messy. 
so what do we have? We have two covers here. So you can see, no, I have a group on the, my screwdriver. So this cover, we have just a fuse. In uh, Umberton fuse holder. 6.3 amperes seems it is uh, silver coated the fuse holder too and on the top of the fuse holder we have a manufacturer logo which uh, looks like a pi sign in a double circle ok so there is only one fuse for this thing it seems because the other side we have two potentiometers. This one is written uh, 400 probably hertz, and this one is written 36 volts. So you are, can see they are um, potentiometers designed for a screwdriver, and there is a lock nut on them. So once you, are, you did set them, you lock the lock nut and it does not move anymore. Okay, now I will pack back in place all these small covers and uh, we will have a look at the goodies on the top. Okay, so before we remove the cover, I guess uh, you are wondering where I did find this uh, thing. So, as uh, most of the time, it was uh, on uh, German eBay. If I remember correctly, it was very cheap, like uh, 2 or 5 euros, something like this, with a huge shipping price, 35 euros or so as a shipping price. So, what do we have in here? It is a power supply. We can uh, guess we may have uh, transformers. We may have uh, rectifiers, capacitors, and uh, some kind of uh, voltage uh, regulating uh, circuit with a uh, power transistor, obviously. Here we are. So I do not see transformers. You can see all the wiring all around. Oh, excuse me, these are two big transformers. I did believe they were relays, but not they are transformers. So you can see pretty uh, straightforward uh, stuff. Wiring all around, two big transformers, very heavy. And uh, two circuit boards. I will lift this one. So there is an issue with these screws, in fact, because you need a very thin uh, screwdriver to uh, remove them. The this screwdriver should match, but not. It is too thick, and it does, does not fit quietly in the in the gap of a screw. It is uh, a recurring problem with uh, Russian screws. Besides the fact they are of very very bad quality. We have two more screws here. So I can see some kind of uh, current shint here, maybe, not sure. At the bottom we have a big diodes. Precision resistance. So we'll, we'll, yes. What do we have? So, uh, for a brief rectifier here, made with uh, four uh, metal can diodes. We have a bunch of capacitors, precision resistors here, 1% resistors, 
0 0.51 ohm uh, one uh, over uh, transistor here this you can see I have uh, interconnects for the transistors on the side little, on little uh, terminals and here uh, oh no it is not, a, I believe, I did believe it was a current current but not it is just a, a thing to keep the wires in place so we have uh, more uh, rectifiers here and here one big uh, green coated capacitor in a sealed uh, hermetic package mica capacitors here very nice this one this one's uh, did bug transistors these smaller ones are uh, golden canned golden uh, legs and uh, golden can uh, resistors, uh, glass body diode, and this thing must be some kind of. Uh, will you be able to see it? It will not be easy. Like so, there is a sticker on the side. It is upside down, but it must be some kind of uh, transformer. I guess there is stuff written on it, but it is in Cyrillic, it is in, in small letters. Maybe someone will be able to decode it if I can have it in focus. It is really not easy. Yes, like so. A little more at the bottom, excuse me. Okay. We have uh, something is uh, 3.5 million pairs. So maybe we have eight contacts at the bottom with a center uh, screw. So maybe it is a potted uh, electronic module. Which does some regulate power regulating. Okay, and I guess we have nothing else, in fact. Maybe we can have a better look now at the transformers. As you can see, two big transformers here at the bottom. Seems this one is a three phase. We have three uh, wires uh, here, three wires here. And uh, they seem to be pretty thick. Yes, uh, maybe this is not a transformer but just uh, an inductor because we, I see only two wires going to, to it and we have also pretty thick uh, copper wire in it. Uh, also you can see the, this uh, kind of uh, fiber material on the side of the coils and the uh, mounting bracket is in several parts as you can see we have a screw at the bottom and we have uh, some kind of hooks here and this I am not sure what it is uh, since we have screws for uh, they look like adjustment screws maybe for uh, making sure the, the thing cannot uh, move or vibrate in the in its clamp we have the other the same thing on the other one so i think it is just for pressing the transformer in place okay last thing you can see on this uh, wire loom here blue tape on the clamping piece to uh, keep it uh, attached pretty well in fact and you can see the thickness of the box here it is quite incredible guys do I have something to measure it? no it must be a good uh, 
not far from a centimeter. And it must yes. So it will be a little overkill, but we can measure the thickness. Um, yes, it is uh, 11 millimeters, guys. Pretty impressive. And it is not, uh, there is not a recess or anything in this. It is really all single part. This on the corners here it is even more thicker. Because we are, it is ending here and here on this side. So it must be not far from two centimeters here. 1.5 cm, something like this. So really, we have serious metal work on this thing. It is quite, uh, quite impressive. And obviously, we do not make stuff like this anymore. I'm not even sure if uh, modern military gear is uh, so strong. They still use uh, die-cast metal, but Probably now it is some magnesium or something like this. Quite brittle and uh, not so thick. Probably. Okay, so I will put this uh, thing back together and it will go back in storage for more years. Do not know what to do with it except uh, keeping it. In fact, it is not really a display item. I can probably uh, not do anything useful with it and it should be a, a shame to uh, take it apart for uh, parts because it is quite uh, beautiful the made so the only uh, way is to keep it. Okay, thanks for watching, bye bye.